The evolution of every Godzilla's atomic breath in Roblox. In Kaiju Universe, to be exact. If we go to Kaiju's right here, we can type in Godzilla, and you can see there's about 11 Godzillas here. But if we delete all that and type in Goji instead, you can see we've got seven separate ones over here. We've got about 18 Godzillas to get through today. And in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, let me know by the end, which was your favorite atomic breath? And for this video, we're doing regen all the way up, mainly to, you know, kind of get the atomic breath back so it doesn't take forever. And I'm going to do that on every single kaiju. So, guys, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Two hours later. All right, the regen and the damage is up on every one of them. Let's start off with the very first Godzilla. That is, of course, going to be my boy Goji right here. And you already know, guys. Off the rip, we've got to get the very first roar. It sounds so majestic. All right, now for the first Godzilla, we've got the number four move called the Incandescent Light. That is the very first atomic breath ever made. I kind of want to shoot it up into the sky, too. You know, shoot it around and see how much damage this thing's going to do. We got some buildings. You know, it did it, 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 it decent. And that one came out as like a white atomic breath or something like that. What about the searing light? I'm pretty sure that's still going to be... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I like being able to look at it like straight on. So for the first Godzilla right here, it's looking like, you know, it's a white atomic breath. It does a decent amount of damage, like 83 every single second or maybe 83 every like half a second or something. Let's hit the searing light one more time just to see the beautiful first Godzilla. And well, let's hop to the next one. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm totally going to get this order wrong, but we're just going to hop between Godzillas. I'm going to try to follow the order as best as I can. Wouldn't it be Showa Gojira to be next? We're going with him. Now we got my boy Showa G, and he always looks like somebody peed in his Cheerios, bro. Why is he so angry? You know, I don't know the answer to that question, but what I do know is this one has a blue atomic breath, right? I mean, it's still kind of white. You can see it, you know, from the side view. But it has, like, a little tiny hint of that blue to it. And not very much. But what about the dorsal plate charge? Let's go ahead and hit that move. Okay, I forgot that one flies me. You know what? One more time. Since this Godzilla's one to fight me, let's hit that breath one last time. And that one's doing 107 damage every, like, half a second. And it took half of his health. That was pretty good. What about over here in Tokyo? Oh, I'm getting lit up by somebody else's atomic breath. Let me go ahead and get out of here real quick. I love this move, bro. I always forget that this man can fly with the atomic breath. And now you can really see the atomic breath because it's coming right at the screen. One thing I bet you all didn't know that this kaiju can do, if we just stop flying, we turn into a bomb. Everybody, what? All right, let's do this one more time. We got the atomic breath. And I'm just going to see how much damage it's going to do to these guys right here together. Did I just drop down that Godzilla? Uh, my bad, buddy. All right, I'm going to let this guy drop me off, and we're going to go to the next kaiju. I think I like this one the best so far. What do you guys think? And by the way, I'm just going to go by list. We're not going to go by year, mainly so I don't forget who I've used. Let's go ahead and do Final Wars Goji. This Godzilla always looking like a savage, bro. I love the orange eyes he has and that blue atomic breath. I'm pretty sure it's blue, right? Let me go ahead and see. It's definitely more of a shade of blue. More like a greenish blue. And I really like the dorsal plates, how they light up. That kind of lasted for a long time doing 88 damage, too. Th that might be nice. He also has another one called the Scorching Spiral Breath. I forgot which one. Oh, okay. So that one's the red one. And you know what? This is definitely the best one we've used. I will say that one only does about 19 damage for some reason. Uh, it's very weak. I don't know. Maybe you can get that stronger. I don't really know how with this character, but I'm almost positive that that move can be a little stronger. And we're going to go ahead and try the number four atomic breath on this kaiju right here. We're going to see how much damage we can do. He had about a quarter of his health left. And well, there we go. He's dead. I'm trying to tell you guys, these atomic breaths out here are absolutely lethal. And this one's, you know, Final Wars, it's very good. I'm honestly just going to hit the atomic breath until somebody decides to drop me off. Oh, okay. You see, I I'm hitting Godzilla, and it's still only doing 18 damage now. So maybe if you do it a few times too many, it starts doing less damage or something like that? I don't know. We're dead anyways. Next kaiju on our list is going to be the almighty Shin Godzilla with those tiny little T-Rex arms. Now, this one technically has like three beams slash atomic breaths, whatever you want to call them. So we're just going to start it off. I've got the thermal flame. And that one's going to be the fire. It's going to go straight to the ground. We got to build up the beam. And now that we have done that, we can hit the atomic breath right here. The atomic beam, whatever you want to call it. 
two Godzilla. Wait, I want to see how much damage it's doing. I think it did about 117 per like maybe half a second. So it does good damage, but definitely not the strongest that we're going to use today. And, you know, if somebody gets too close to you, he's got these back beams you can just push him right off with. Even though it, it, it didn't push him off at all. You know what? Let me hit my tail beam too. We're doing all the atomic breath slash beams today, so why not? I'm going to try to do it one more time before we die, bro. Shin Godzilla is trying to use his atomic breath. Never mind, we're dead. All right, Shin Godzilla had a quick run. What about Millennium Goji? Now, Millennium, I will say, he definitely has one of the best atomic breaths. I'm just going to hit it right now. It's the radioactive heat ray, and watch how long this lasts. I may have been lying to you. Maybe it's somebody else. Somebody's got one that lasts, like, a really long time. Because I'm not going to lie, I just hit this atomic breath, and it really didn't last that long at all. Maybe they nerfed it, because it used to last for a long time. Now it does 67 damage, uh, I think, every a few seconds or so. Or, like, every few milliseconds. I don't know what it is. It, it does a good amount of damage in a good amount of time. But it, it's definitely been nerfed. And he does have a nuclear pulse, too. So, you know what? While we're at it, let's go ahead and hit it. The nuclear pulse. It's not an atomic breath, but uh, we're just going to use the move. And now we've got a Godzilla right here in front of me. I want to hit the heat ray on one kaiju just to see how much damage it can really do. I'm going to see how much right here. 67 every, like, a little bit. Look at that. It barely does anything. We're going to go ahead and mark down Millennium as the worst one of the day. We got Heisei right here, though, and we're going to hit the number four move, which is the Atomic Breath or Heat Ray, whatever you want to call it. And that one does about 150. So I think that's the highest damage we've had yet. And you know what? Since I'm like, I'm getting fought over here, I got to hit the Searing Destruction as well. Your boy's getting jumped, bro. I'll be back. All right. At least there's nobody over here. Now we can hit that number four move, which is the Heat Ray and see just how much damage it's going to do. Um, I mean, it did 185 that time. If you go stationary with the attack, it, it gets a little better. But it lasts for like maybe three seconds and then it's done. But it does like, you know, rejuvenate again really fast. I, I don't know about it, bro. What do you guys think? It's a pretty good move, but definitely not my favorite. Let me go ahead and melt down this building for the one time. And okay, but next Kaiju. Hopping over to Burning Gojira. This one's definitely going to be cool, bro. Let's hit the heat rate one time for the one time and see what we can do damage-wise. 113. That's definitely not bad. And it lasts a little longer than the last Kaiju. And you already know, since I've got a few Kaijus here, I'm hitting the Meltdown or the the, the Devastation. Uh, th did that do anything? That's it. I've got to do the Heat Rate one more time because this Godzilla's trying to get away. And I think we got him. Oh, never mind. Invincible. He's got a little bit of health left. Now, I'm getting hit with another one, and I've got my Heat Ray back. That's why this regen was really important for this video. Take a seat, Godzilla. I will say, Burning Godzilla's Atomic Breath Heat Ray, whatever you want to call it, it's definitely the coolest one we've seen so far. It's It's got that orange with the blue going through it. I like it the best. And you know what? Just one time for the one time, let's hit the meltdown cry. Just to hear what to say. Currently, he says he's the best. All right, we've completed everybody on the Goji list. What about the Godzilla list now? Okay, well, we've actually done a couple of these already. Actually, I think we've only done one. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. First off, we got Godzilla Jr. You know, the baby of Godzilla. Let's hit the number four move. Okay, that's the wrong one. Never mind. No, it's not. It's the Atomic Breath, and it does about 97 and you know what? It does pretty quick work. I'd like to hit that on a kaiju, but I, they spawned me in the second island of Florida over here. Uh, why didn't you spawn me main? He also has that junior tantrum move down there. Oh, well, hello there, Manila. We've got both of the Godzilla kids. And you know what? Since Manila is right here, he wants a screeny timeout. He said, OMG, thanks. You are welcome, but I'm sorry. I do have to hit you with a couple claws and an atomic breath just to see how much damage it'll do here. It did about a half of his health. That's really good. My boy said my life is complete sub to him. Much love, Tony, and much love to my other, my, my, my younger brother over there, I guess. All right, one more time for Godzilla Jr. because we got to move on to the next Kaiju here. And like I said, you know, it, it does a good amount of damage. 97 is pretty decent, and it lasts for a good amount of time. So not the worst. Now we've got Godzilla 2014. We're going to a more recent one because like I said, I've got to just go down the list. I can't go year to year because I'll forget who I use. So on this one, we've got the Atomic Firestorm, which is the Atomic Breath. Let's go ahead and load it up real quick. You can see my boy charging the dorsal plates. And let's see how much damage to the buildings we're going to do. 164, and it lasted a pretty good amount of time. So this one might be the best so far. And we might get to test it out on a Godzilla because we have one swimming towards me right about now. And I think that's Godzilla 2021. So let's see whose is better. Do we have Godzilla 2014 
or do we have Godzilla 2021? Let's see. I'm going to hit him 164 every like half second. And it, it, it took about a quarter of his health. That's that's not bad. And I'm going to let him drop me off real quick. Hurry up, buddy. Hit some moves. And now let's go to the next one. Now, a few years later, we have Godzilla 2019. And this one is actually the Atomic Breath. It says Atomic Breath on it. And you can see that charge from my boy. It does about... I can't see how much damage. About 155 and it lasts about the same uh, amount of time. So I think 2014 was better. Now the previous version could be better, 2014, but let's hit it one more time. We've got the atomic breath and I'm hitting on this Godzilla right here, even though he's low health. I'm sorry, but I've got to do this today. Look, he got some health back because he destroyed a Kaiju, but now he's running a little bit. Maybe I can uh, hurry up, recharge the breath. Oh yeah, Godzilla 2019's regen is absolutely doo-doo. I can't even hit him, bro. He's too far now. What we can do is try it out on this Godzilla one more time right here let's see how much damage we're gonna take away if we just absolutely aim it on just this guy we took about less than a quarter so yeah definitely not the best it might be the worst i'm not gonna lie to you i need you all to let me know in the comments which one was the best in this video and which one is the worst right now 2019 not looking like the best off to the next one that was on that godzilla list we got a ready player one mecha godzilla and i think the only thing he has is this atomic flamethrower that you have to stand still for i'm pretty sure yeah now it comes up and we can hit the atomic flamethrower it does about 240 damage, which definitely isn't bad. But like I said, you gotta stand still and it lasts like two seconds. So I'm not gonna lie to you, Ready Player One Mecha G, you look great, but you're pretty disappointing when it comes to the breath. Unless we click on this overcharge though, you can see we got that red tint to us now. And maybe, let me find a Kaiju real quick. All right, yet again, I've got Godzilla in front of me and I wanna see how much damage it's gonna do. You see, I can barely move around with them. Oh wait, I can move with them. It does about 240 damage. And I can move around. I think you got to be stationary first. But it takes so long to get that back. Look, it's still loading down there. And we're waiting for it. I'm getting fought. Okay, there we go. Now we can hit it once again. Let's see how much damage. 240, 240. It's not going to be enough, bro. Yep, we're dead. Now we are here with one that I don't even think exists. We've got Frostbite Godzilla. And we're here to see the most frozen breath we have ever seen. I think it's the Weeper Scream, right? Okay, yep, it's very cool. It does a lot of damage to a lot of things, but that's more like an atomic cough. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't go very far. What about the obstruction or whatever this is? Oh, wait, never mind. That's just me uh, making my hand go cold. So, yeah, the only thing that this one does have is the Weeper Scream, which let's try it out on a Kaiju. And we can actually try it out on multiple. We've got Godzilla right here. And we've got Jet Jaguar. You see, it covers a lot of ground, but it doesn't do a ton of damage to one person. What if we try it on just one kaiju like this Mecha Godzilla right here? Oh, he's backing up. Never mind. What about this one? We got Jet Jaguar, and it's going to do about... Actually, you know what? It did pretty decent damage. And he said sub to Cappy, my boy. But I will say, this one is definitely not my favorite. One of my favorite looking, for sure. But the Atomic Breath, that's all we're worried about today. Next one on the list, we have Show Up Mecha Godzilla, And I'm not expecting this one to be very good, to be honest with you. I I'm just going to go ahead and hit it one time for the one time. And that one, it, it came out of the, the stomach region. And wait a minute, did that do 400 damage for three times? I don't know, let me try the all-out attack again before- Wait a minute, I I'm dead already? Okay, you know what? That was a fluke, you know what I'm saying? That one did not count at all. Let me try that one more time. We've got the number four move, which is like the stomach beam. And I'm gonna try it out on this guy right here, just so I can see how much damage it really does. 400, so it does about 1,200 damage. But what about the all-out attack? That's the move I was trying to do. Uh, oh, okay, that's why I died. I literally just exploded myself. But it does do like 700 and something. Uh, forget that guy ever existed. That might have been the worst one. Oh, look who we got now. Thermonuclear Godzilla. I'm excited for this one. I personally think that this one's going to be at the top of a lot of people's list. Let's go ahead and hit it. We've got the Kelvin Surplus, right? I think that one... Okay, never mind. That's not it. That's the stomp. Is it the Spiral Thunder? Or is that one the, like, the nuclear pulse or whatever it is? Let me hit the Spiral. Yep, that's the nuclear pulse. So, wait a minute. Does this Kaiju even have an atomic breath? Maybe, maybe I was thinking about it wrong. What about the Meltdown? Yep, that's just a stomp. And then the Infernal Devastation is, uh, okay. Yeah, but he doesn't even have an atomic breath. I was definitely thinking about it wrong. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this one, it might be the worst, mainly because he doesn't have one. But, I mean, he does look cool. Wait a minute, that guy just called me a burnt Dorito. Now, although he doesn't have the atomic breath, we're still gonna hit that one move that we all know so well. That is the atomic pulse real quick, and we're gonna make everybody take a seat. 
And now that we've done that, uh, let's go to the next Gaiju. We only have a few more Godzillas to do and one right here. We've got Mecha Godzilla 2021 with the Proton Beam or the Proton Scream, whatever you want to call it. Let's see how much damage this bad boy is going to be doing. It's looking like it's not doing any because I just spawned, of course. Okay, now it's starting to do some damage. And I think it's doing like 140 every single half second. And it lasts a long time. So off the bat, you got to count 2021 Mechagodzilla as one of the best atomic breaths. But who is going to be the best? I'm saving him for last. That, that's going to be my pick. I'm saving him for last. Trust me, you guys will know once you see him. But for right now, let's hit the Proton Scream one last time on this Godzilla right here. And just see how much damage it's actually going to put in on him. It did about a half, maybe. Yeah, I think it got half of his health taken down. But we are about to die. Okay, R.I.P. Mecha G. Two more Godzillas to go, and one is a right here. We got Godzilla 2021. So who is going to be the last one, guys? Can anybody go ahead and guess? Which Godzilla have we not used? I'm going to go ahead and hit an Atomic Breath. This one is the fastest Atomic Breath, for sure. Watch this. Right when I hit the button, it's already coming out. And we got... It's doing about 110 damage. And you know what? It does last a pretty long time. But the best thing about Godzilla 2021 and his atomic breath has got to be this move right here. It is the Hollow Earth Beam, a.k.a. in this game, the Hollow Quarry. And look at that. It's doing 270 damage pretty much every half second, and it destroys everything around him. So now that we've seen those moves, let's hit it one more time. We've got the atomic breath on some buildings, pretty much melting away everything, bro. This one is definitely near the top, you know, near the top of the best. But who is going to be the absolute best? In my opinion, it is going to be this bad boy right here. Oh, thick thigh McGee. We've got Godzilla Ultima. Now, he's got a couple of these moves, right? He's got the Ultima Spiritus at the bottom. That one kind of just flies it around, right? I don't think you can really aim this one, but we're going to try it out. The Ultima... Oh, this is the one you can actually aim. The Ultima Spiritus, and it lasts for a long time. Like, look, it's doing 85 damage, but watch how far it goes and watch how long it lasts. I mean, we're still going... It, there we go. Finally, it ends. And then we've got the Ultima Bastidus. I think that's the one that you can't necessarily aim. Let me try to hit it one time here. The Ultima Bastidus. Yeah, that's the one that just kind of goes everywhere. And it does... What did that... Did that do 75 damage? You know, that, that wasn't the best, honestly. But look at this already. The Ultima Spiritus has charged up once again, and we can use it off the bat. 85 damage every, like, a half a second. That, that is so good, especially for how long it lasts. Like, look, I'm still going, and look at Godzilla's health. He has a quarter of his health left. Usually, we've only been doing uh, about a quarter of their health. But now, Godzilla Ultima, he's just leaving them with a quarter of their health. And then, look, right when you're done with that, you can just hit him with one move, and Godzilla is taking a seat. That is why Godzilla Ultima, he is my number one. That is the end of this video. Let me know who you guys thought was the best and the worst in the comments. I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Oh, goodbye. I